Uh, comment, Steve. Okay, Ron. Uh, he said tone squelch, not encoder squelch. So I think he might be referring to the tone squelch that some reviewers send back out. I may be wrong, but uh, that's what I got from tone squelch. Yes, that can be, in some cases, decoded. In some, in some cases, the node or repeater will send that back out and generate it on its end, and you can receive it on your radio. Uh, unless you're receiving some interference or static or intermod, I, I tend not to use that feature. Uh, I am using it tonight because I'm at a uh, repeater site where there's lots of transmitters and lots of RF, and my radio is getting overloaded in the front end. So I am using tone squelch tonight, but I usually don't. And uh, so yeah, a lot of our repeaters do send the tone out. Some of them don't. So if you see the S meter deflecting and registering a signal and the busy light on, on the radio, but you're not hearing any audio come out of the speaker, then that means you've tried to decode and it's not decoding right. So that one probably doesn't have tone decode. So go back to just encode only. Um, David, anything else you'd like to add? Uh, yeah, K4. Yeah, I think Steve, you got it right on the, the nail right on the head there. So yeah, yeah. But hopefully, most repeaters these days, uh, certainly newer ones, would send out a tone uh, signal as well, so that you could use tone to code on your red local radio. Uh, that certainly certainly helps metropolitan areas and all with a lot of intermod, uh, particularly on two meters, it seems. But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's both ways. So you, it, all, pretty much all, pretty nearly all repeaters these days, you've got to send them tone a tone signal in order to open their squelch uh, just to keep the repeater from hearing interference. And a lot also send you back a signal to open your squelch so that you know, if you're in an, in an interference-prone zone, you don't, uh, you don't have a lot of problems as well. And all, every repeater that I've got does do both, um, so 100% across the board, A4FXC. Okay, Steve, this is on uh, Sunset. You said number seven on the list, and uh, Terry gave me that information in the background, so I think he's on Sunset. So, Okay, Don, uh, back to you. Anything else we can do for you? Did we answer your question? Oh, this is KN6QDV, um, and yes, and it is the sunset uh, meter that I'm having trouble with. Unfortunately, I'm not on that rig now. It's in the back room. I was afraid to go on there because when I came on today, instead of just going completely red uh, when I pushed the PTT, it was three, flashing four. blue and red, and I've got to go to my manual, like you said, and figure it out. But because it's not a, it's not the simplex repeater. I have that on a separate program, but. Uh, but it is a, a two meter, uh, and I just want to make sure because I, I tried to come in and, and it was irritating to a couple of guys that uh, you know it was, it was like hit and miss with my signal, like start and stop. So, anyways, I'll do my homework. I'll pull out the manual, and uh, that helps a lot. It gives me uh, I wrote down everything both you guys, all three you said, and that should get me going. Anyways, uh, KN6 QDV. This is Don in Costa Mesa, and thank you guys. Back to net.